What up, everybody? It's uh, yours truly. It's another time for another celeb interview, and I'm here to uh, talk with um, Jackie B about this wonderful film that I just watched called Stage Mother that's coming on digital August 21st. Jackie, how you doing? I'm doing great. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you just fine. Congrats on the film. Thank you. It was so much fun to do. Now, it's fair to say that you are one of the most successful drag performers in this business. So when you heard about this movie being made, Stage Mother, about a mother who inherits this drag club from her late son, what was your reaction and did you give any input as to how the interior or the costume should look? Well, my first uh, reaction was, hey, I should be in this movie. <laughs> and I really only did this because I went to all the trouble of putting on fingernails. Anyway, um, and they, crazily enough, listened to me and allowed me to audition for the part. And I mean, I feel like the part just is so me, you know, the sort of mother figure, uh, sort of the older drag queen, you know. And, um, but the irony of the role is that I have always sung live my entire career. I've mm. sung, I've never lip synced in 30 years. And, you know, there's a part of the storyline is that, you know, that's how they're going to update the club. And I sort of fight that, you know, the live singing thing. Um, and I even lip sync a song in the, in the movie. But as far as giving my two cents, honey, everyone involved was just so, they did their research or maybe they've been to a lot of drag bars, I don't know. Uh, they, they really got it down. Um, I told them that I would just like to show up with my own costumes. So I just brought a bunch of options because why make people work harder when this is what I do for a living and I have racks and racks and racks of, you know, choices. Oh, I hear you. And thank you for sharing that. Now, I'm sure you've gotten this question a thousand times, but I'm going to ask you this anyway, because I've never met Jackie Weaver and I adore that woman. Uh, uh -huh. What's it like working with the Oscar nominated actress, Jackie Weaver? Can, can you share a story about what she's like to you in between takes when the cameras were not rolling? Well, I would love to tell you something about two-time Academy Award nominee, Jackie Weaver. I mean, she's legendary. And usually, you know, that word gets thrown around a lot, but I mean, she was in, you know, Picnic at Hanging Rock. She is amazing. And they say, you know, never meet your idols, you know, because they really can't live up to the hype usually. But she was just the most down to earth, warm, friendly person. Just the moment you meet her, you feel like you, knew, I, maybe this is just me, you know, I can only talk about how my connection with her, but I felt like I knew her in a past life. And, you know, she has said it herself, there is a not very uh, politically correct term from, from the past called a fag hag. So she is a woman who surrounds herself with gay men and you can tell that she just loves them. And uh, so I think that that comes across because I think the relationship between gay man and straight woman is a, you know, a very, very special, almost sacred relationship through history. You know, I always say, I bet Cleopatra was sitting there getting, you know, those, her hair braided and that, you know, Egyptian eyeliner put on by, you know, her hairstylist and they were gossiping and they were best friends. So that's how I feel about Jackie. She's amazing. And you think, okay, be careful. This is a legend, but you would never know it by how, you know, friendly and embracing she is. May I ask, because the story is about this struggling drag club. Um, this pandemic has caused, you know, it has hit a lot of businesses really hard. How is the drag performance business these days? And do you guys go virtually, digitally, anything like that? Yes, I am doing shows online. I do a lot of Instagram live shows, which are free, but then of course, you know, I'm like, hey, tip me because, you know, I, I don't know if you can tell by looking at me, I'm not very shy. Uh, I put the B in subtle. 
<laughs> but um, yeah, so I do a lot of Instagram live shows. For instance, every Wednesday, I have a talk show called Best Friends Day Wednesday, where I interview one of my friends, like Bianca Del Rio or Katya, Coco Peru. I even uh, interviewed Nancy Allen, who was in the original Carrie, and she was in Dress to Kill and Robocop and, you know, just these iconic movies from the 70s and 80s. And I'm actually going to interview Jackie Weaver uh, next Wednesday, uh, August 19th, because that's right before the movie comes out here in the US on the 21st. So I do that every Wednesday and that's just talking. So I'm not giving people, see, you have to be really careful. I don't wanna sing and give them the, you know, the whole Jackie beat drag show experience. Although I'm in full drag when I'm interviewing this, you know, friend of mine, and it's very entertaining and people love it. But I don't want to take away from when I have a show, you know, that requires purchasing a ticket, even if it's online, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So I do that every Wednesday. And then every Sunday, I've been doing a show called Quarantine Cuisine, where I get in full drag. And right here in my kitchen, I cook something. Nothing fancy. Like the first one was just ramen noodles with a hot dog cut up into it. But I like to think I'm a naturally entertaining person. But I feel very blessed that, you know, as a drag queen, I can still do what I do. And I have to do it to stay sane. I'll tell you that much. And a lot of my friends can't. You know, I have friends that are club promoters. So their very existence is getting a bunch of people into a hot, sweaty club, dancing and drinking, and that's just not possible. So I am glad that this translates, you know, and thanks to modern technology, I can come into people's homes. Um, my final question before I go, I just want to ask, um, this movie, Stage Mother, points to, the, to, the, uh, to something that we already know all our lives, that there are two Americas you know, the, the ones that are judgy uptight and then the ones that are, hey, you do you, boo. Um, so what do you think Stage Mother Movie wants to say or wants to convey about those two Americas? Well, you know what? In this current political climate, I will say this. True Americans are the second group because my attitude is if you believe in the Bible, and you, you know, people can believe in whatever they want, but I know a lot of people that we, you know, sometimes have a problem with are Bible believing, you know, the, the type of Americans that are always talking about their freedom and constitu the constitution. If you just followed the number one rule of the Bible, which is judge not, and the number one rule of the constitution, which is all men are created equal, we would have no problem. But as usual, just like how we handled slavery, just how we handled the coronavirus, we did it in, we just gave lip service. We just kind of went through the motions and made it sound like we were dealing with these things. And when you don't really deal with it, that's when things get warped and twisted and, and, and get even worse. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like, if you have a wet rag, you need to throw it in the washing machine, not under the sink, because in the dark, it's gonna you know, start to stink. You need to really deal with these problems. So I am proud to be the type of American who complains and points out injustice. That's being an American. And also, honey, part of American you know, part of America and being an American is uh, being a free person. And uh, so I just feel like doing what I do, I'm actually taking more advantage of the freedoms that our founding fathers wanted us to have. So I'm actually more American than a lot of people. Amen to that. <laughs> Thank you. So um, I appreciate you taking the time to talk with me. Congratulations on Stage Mother and have a wonderful day. 